The Maverick manager, Kike Setien. Kike Setien's Real Betis team are flying and find themselves in the upper reaches of the La Liga table. But the 59-year-old's journey to elite level management has been a long and winding one. In light of a win at the Bernabeu and a 4-4 draw at Real Sociedad, two results that perfectly sum up the genius and reckless abandon of Setien's style, there's never been a more fitting time to take a closer look at the Maverick Spaniard's methods. He's been on our radar for a little while, especially since his last Palmas of 2016-17 conjured up some of the most entertaining stuff we've seen in a long time. Yet, things could have been so different. After retirement, he spent six years playing beach football for Spain and only got back into the professional game by chance when a coaching opportunity sprang up at his boyhood club, Racing Santander. Setien's trademark is possession football, but he distances himself from radical possessionists who like to keep the ball just for the sake of it. He isn't afraid to play long balls and insists on expansive, risk-taking play, which more often than not leads to hugely exciting matches. He's always favoured attacking football and entertainment over results in and of themselves, taking an unusual path to top-level management via Equatorial Guinea and lower league Spanish football. A true lover of the game, Setien has said he'd have cut off a finger to play for Johan Cruyff, asked Leo Messi never to retire and cites Luis Aragones, the man who kicked off Spain's period of world dominance as a major influence. Renowned for bringing joy and entertainment to middling and lower league teams, Setien now finds himself at a truly big club in Betis. The question is, can he bring about a perfect marriage of entertainment and success? Setien is a huge chess player and it's not hard to see his favourite pastime reflected in what he brings to the football pitch. He's even drawn direct comparisons between the two games, stressing the importance of attacking together in numbers and as a unit while maintaining defensive order. On his managerial style, Setien said, you have to attack with order and control the rear guard. You can be an offensive player, but always control what happens in the back. Never leave any loose pieces. Sounds brilliant, right? From a neutral point of view, the only way Setien's vision could translate into reality any better is if it didn't completely work in practice. And it often doesn't. He won plaudits at Lugo, who he got promoted to the second tier playing attractive football on a small budget, but opinions on some of his other reigns were more mixed. As a local newspaper put it after one of his Las Palmas sides typically exhilarating draws, you want to kill them, but you can't help but love them too. Watch a Setien team play and you can see where they're coming from. Seeing his players surge up the pitch like the red arrows during a transition is quite a sight, but at times this commitment to entertainment verges on self-harm. Last season, Las Palmas conceded 74 goals, the most out of any team that stayed up, and Setien's sides have a habit of managing to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. But his methods are absolute and non-negotiable. As a true purist, his teams are built in his image and answer to a higher force than that of statistics and results. Although he now finds himself at a crossroads. Despite getting into management by accident and claiming not to be ambitious, he's hot property. There have even been murmurings linking him with the recently vacant Barcelona and Spain jobs. Setien claims he has no interest in going to a massive club and playing beautiful football is his priority. But as he rises up through the game, it will be fascinating to see if he bends to the demands of modern football or retains his status as one of the sport's true idealists. Setien claims there's less and less to see in football and it often leaves him cold, instead opting to play chess. It's fair to say that if there were more managers like him, there would be a lot more to see in the game. That was Copper 90 and Top 11's lowdown on the Maverick manager, Kike Setien. What do you think of the Real Betis manager? Do you want to see more managers like him in the game? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.